Hey, this is Miko from MO Sound Lab, and this is why you are using the wrong impulse response IR. Well, let me help you out. Now, first things first, let's talk about the job of a guitar cabinet IR. I think most people are choosing their IR simply by trying out as many IRs as possible with their amp setup and finding the one that fits your tone the best. Uh, this can work, but there's a fundamental problem there, which is that you can actually control most of the things of your IR, but there is one specific thing that is the main job of an impulse response cabinet that you cannot control with anything in your signal chain, and that is the high frequency roll off. Uh, you want to see some kind of a pleasant, somewhat smooth high frequency roll off starting from above 2K that being 2 kilohertz. Um, you have a bass knob, you have a middle knob, you have a treble knob, many times you have a depth and a presence knob even on an amplifier, so you can control the overall balance of your guitar tone. But the only thing in your signal chain that is controlling that high end, which is the most piercing sound in your guitar tone, the only thing that controls that high end is your impulse response. So you need to pay very close attention to getting that high frequency roll off as smooth and pleasant sounding as possible. We'll be running through 22 different 4x12 guitar cabinets today and these are all Emil Soundlab Cap Pack IR so you can actually get them from our store right now and a quick shout out right now we're doing a Black November deal so everything is 50% off in our store. A great way to support Emil Soundlab is to go get them right now for 50% off. If you find something that you really like in this video, go check it out. Let's just quickly go through what is this high frequency roll off that I'm talking about. We're just playing this one guitar riff today and this will be very unpleasant for your ears. So um, I do realize that not everyone has great monitoring in their end. So I'm gonna kind of do this trick where I actually cut the lows from the guitars, this really helps with people who don't have nice monitoring to really hear the high end and don't have that rumble of the low end kind of messing up what you're hearing. Now this is the sound of cat pack anger. So this from 2K forward is that high frequency roll off that I'm talking about. And like I said, I do realize that not everyone has amazing monitoring. This will be kind of ear piercing because we are trying to find that most unpleasant sound in your impulse response and finding the one that actually sounds best out of these 22 cabinets. So um, I'm going to be adding a low cut here. Um... <laughs> And you'll quickly realize why I did this. Uh, let me demonstrate this by using some of the different microphone positions of the Anger cabinet. So there, I went through from the 57 A, B, C, D, E, and back and back to the E again. E is the closest position to the middle of the speaker. Now, in the case of this Anger cap pack, this is one of the best cap packs we have. I just demonstrated why. Even if you put the microphone dead center, that frequency roll off will be super pleasant. And if you take it back, it's still pleasant, but just darker. So you actually have control over the brightness of your guitar tone, but it will always be a pleasant high end. This is very rare. This happens like one out of a hundred guitar cabinets. So this is very rare. You should go get the Anger Cap Pack, but I'll quickly demonstrate another cabinet that is super rare and awesome sounding, but that it doesn't have this kind of awesome range of a pleasant high end. So it's gonna be the PRH55, the Jimi Hendrix cabinet, pre-roller cabinet. Question.
represents high end here. So, uh, on that vintage cabinet, when you start putting the microphone closer to the dead center position of that cabinet, you actually get a very, very nasty sound. But, one might argue that the dark position of that cabinet actually sounds better than the anger. One might argue. This is kind of a flavor and taste issue in the end. So, um, this is just to demonstrate that it has a lot to do with how you mic up the cabinet. If you don't have the patience to find these good sweet spot positions that sometimes, like in the case of this old pre-roller cabinet, was super super tiny, uh, then you will never get this kind of a sound. Uh, but um, if you go through the effort of actually finding the nice sweet spots, then you get the best guitar tones possible. Now this is essentially why I even have a career in this industry. I just love tweaking and finding these microphone positions and I've been doing it for over 15 years now, which is crazy. Uh, but hey, um, so what I did was I went through 22 different guitar cabinets, uh, which are cap packs in our store, and I kind of tried to find the most pleasant or nicely balanced 57 position for each of those cabinets. And now we'll kind of go through them here and let's see what we prefer and what really stands out from the crowd. Let's start by going to the 70s Boomtown and this is what it sounds like. Really nice frequency rollout here. 70s Tony. Uh, 70s Volt. Based on a high watt 4x12 from the 70s. Not really a pleasant high frequency rollout. Now, this is the anger we had before. Man, that's nice. And you can hear it. None of that sizzle or sting in your ear. Now this is the Uber cab. It's not very pleasant sounding in that high end. Now this is another BTNR cabinet. Boner, one might say. Oh, the black back. Not Oh, the black pack is one of the best cabinets. Just look at that. And there's nothing, there's no sizzle anywhere. Very pleasant sounding. Cat pack for destruction. This is actually Ryder. Um, this cat pack for destruction actually has a very smooth high frequency roll of it's just a much brighter cabinet So uh, this is where you could actually potentially use the presence knob on your amplifier to make this more pleasant in comparison here It actually sounds kind of nasty though. Uh, let's continue Not really liking that one That is actually very good for a greenback. That is nice. Freeman B30. Okay. Pay attention. 1K. This is why Mars Mofo needed to happen. Um, this cabinet has a smooth frequency roll-off starting from 1K. Just have a listen to this.
it's unfair how good that cabinet is. Mars Mofo, if you're looking for new IRs, I highly recommend checking it out. Let's continue. <coughs> the Jimmy cabinet again, very nice frequency roll off, very smooth, but only has that one tiny spot. H75 Tirola. Very pleasant actually. Kind of has a bump around 4K, but still nice. Uh, the M55, also a pre roll up variant. It's kind of a honkier sounding one, a more unique sound. Oh, and the M75. Once again, from 1K. Just look at that graph. Almost like I drew it with my kind of a pencil or something. Really need to demonstrate it with the low end so you realize how amazing the M75 pre roller is. Yeah, <laughs> let's continue. Um, uh, then we have Mega Gent. This is epic. From 500 Hertz. <laughs> Not the most pleasant uber uber high end roll off, but it's very pleasant. Starting from 500 Hertz forward, very smooth. Mega green. This is very pleasant because let me demonstrate this. So what I wanted to show off here is that the roll off starts very early on the mega green. So these are the best greenbacks, kind of modern greenbacks from the early 90s. And what I really love about them is that the frequency roll off starts earlier than on most speakers. So uh, around 3K already, you're starting to get that high frequency roll off. There. It's gonna be super easy to place this in a mix and have it be quite loud in the mix. It will not pierce your ears. It will be very, very pleasant in the mix. Um, let's continue. Mega Ochi. Kind of in between the gent and green. I think it's flat from around 1k forward, but it has this kind of signature Mesa 2k thing going on. Then going down very nicely. Mega OS. Like I said, kind of this signature mega thing is to have kind of this spiky character here on 2K. Now this is my personal cabinet. Um, now the magic about the mega oversized cabinet, the very first mega cabinet we ever did, is that it has a very linear kind of a frequency roll off compared to many other cabinets that sort of have this round rolled off high end. Uh, the mega oversized kind of has a very linear sort of, a, um, well, you'll see here in curve. So here around four, 4K and then just straight down. And that linearness is actually more pleasant sounding than having a very round roll off that goes like this. Um, not sure why, just with experience is something that I've kind of learned. When you have a very linear sort of long lasting roll off, that is what gives you more cuts in a very pleasant way. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now let's continue. Mega traditional. And this is the one that shines in that linear roll off. 4K, all the way to 10K and beyond. And then we have the Oring. Now this is not very good in that sense. So let's quickly go through these again. Out of the vintage cabs, Tony is the best one. Anger is one of the best ones. Neither of the boners really do it. The black back is very, very, very good. I think it's comparable to the Tony. Oh, black back is better than Tony. Oh, it's too bright. No. Ah, uh, mediocre. Mars Mofo. That must be the best one out of the bunch. Mars Mofo. I think I'm gonna call it the winner here. Okay, that is that is quite nice. 855. That is also quite nice. And that is also quite nice. And that is also quite nice. Okay, um the PR bundle. That is the best deal, best IR deal we have going on right now. You just heard all of them and they all have a very super pleasant high end. That is a steal of an IR collection. If you don't have them yet, just go get it. I mean, does this sound like Jimi Hendrix to you? Do not think about how old it is. Just think about how amazing it sounds. Okay, let's continue. Gent, yes, has that nice high middle bite. Not the best roll off. Very growly. Is that similar to the black back? I think the black back is better. How about the mofo? Oh, that is more modern sounding. OS. Still has the magic in it. And this has the most bite. Traditional has the most bite. And orange is not the one. Okay, so Mofo. Black Mac. Anger. Mofo. Anger. Okay. Mofo. Anger. I'd say this is a tie between the Anger and the Mofo. Those two cabinets. Those are some of the best cabinets in our collection. Man, that high end is good. Now, let's just listen to them without the low cut because this is kind of ear piercing and you get ear fatigue this way. Sorry about it, but it just helps to hear the high end so much better when you don't have that rumble of the low end kind of tricking you. So now let's Listen to these, the Anger and the Mofo with no low cuts. <laughs> I can't decide. Mofo is the winner. I just love the bite of it. I think it's maybe a little bit better balanced overall. Uh, we're using amped roots here, by the way, without the cabinet section, obviously. Um, Marsh Mofo is the winner here. And that is the IR cap pack everyone should be using. And you're not using it, so you are wrong.
all joking aside, I hope this video kind of demonstrates um, a better way of choosing an IR. I would say choose the IR first because it controls your tone way more than your amplifier does. Once you have that impulse response that you know and trust, uh, then you can choose to have any kind of amplifier and it will work. Like I demonstrated here, we had caps from now to 2000 to the 70s and they all sound equally modern. The cabinet itself does not kind of determine whether your tone is modern or vintage. I hope this was helpful, this was super geeky. If you like these kinds of videos, please leave a thumbs up and let me know that you like these videos so I'll make more of these super geeky videos. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. Just a kind of tidy plug here. Black November, our Black Friday deals are live at the moment. So if any of these cap packs sounded amazing to you uh, during this test, go get them now for 50% off. This is the best deals we ever have. Thank you for watching the video and see you on the next one. I've been Miko. Bye bye.